In phonetics and phonology, a sonorant or resonant is a speech sound that is produced with continuous, non-turbulent airflow in the vocal tract. These are the manners of articulation that are most often voiced in the world's languages. Vowels are sonorants, as are consonants like per meter, and, l, approximants, nasals, flaps or taps, and most trills. In older usage, only the term resonant was used with this meaning, and sonorant was a narrower term, referring to all resonants except vowels and semivowels. Types Whereas obstruents are frequently voiceless, sonorants are almost always voiced. A typical sonorant consonant inventory found in many languages comprises the following, two nasals per meter, n, two semivowels, with, j, and two liquids, l, r. In the sonority hierarchy, all sounds higher than fricatives are sonorants. They can therefore form the nucleus of a syllable in languages that place that distinction at that level of sonority, see syllable for details. Sonorants contrast with obstruents, which do stop or cause turbulence in the airflow. The latter group includes fricatives and stops for example, s, and, t. Among consonants pronounced in the back of the mouth or in the throat, the distinction between an approximant and a voiced fricative is so blurred that no language is known to contrast them. Thus, uvular, pharyngeal, and glottal fricatives never contrast with approximants. Topic: <inaudible> Voiceless. Voiceless resonants are rare. They occur as phonemes in only about 5% of the world's languages. Voiceless sonorants tend to be extremely quiet and difficult to recognize, even for those people whose language has them. In every case of a voiceless sonorant occurring, there is a contrasting voiced sonorant. In other words, whenever a language contains a phoneme such as r, it also contains a corresponding voiced phoneme such as r. Voiceless sonorants are most common around the Pacific Ocean, in Oceania, East Asia, and North and South America, and in certain language families such as Austronesian, Sino-Tibetan, Na Dene, and Eskimo Aleut. One European language with voiceless sonorants is Welsh. Its phonology contains a phonemic voiceless alveolar trill, r, along with three voiceless nasals, velar, alveolar and labial. Another European language with voiceless sonorants is Icelandic, with l, r, n, m, for the corresponding voiced sonorants l, r, n, m. Voiceless r, l, and possibly m, n, are hypothesized to have occurred in various dialects of ancient Greek. The Attic dialect of the Classical period likely had r, as the regular allophone of r at the beginning of words and possibly when it was doubled inside words. Hence, many English words from ancient Greek roots have rh initially and rrh medially. Rhetoric, diarrhea. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples. English has the following sonorant consonantal phonemes: l per meter, n. With, J, Old Irish had one of the most complex sonorant systems recorded in linguistics, with twelve coronal sonorants alone. Coronal laterals, nasals, and rhotics had a fortis lenis and a palatalization contrast, n, 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 r, 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 l, 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 l. There were also, m, and per meter, making sixteen sonorant phonemes in total. Sound changes Voiceless resonants have a strong tendency to either re-voice or undergo fortition, for example to form a fricative like, c, or See also List of phonetics topics Obstruent Continuant